Hello, Kay. Catherine, welcome. So good to see you guys. Um, now, if you can see, there's a little chat icon down the bottom. If you can click on that, I'd love for you to just, um, yeah, pop a little message in there and let me know where you're calling from. Whereabouts in the world are you? And also just share with me if you're a plant-based beginner or intermediate or a plant-based pro. I'd love to know. And I'm just going to pop also down in here my email address because I'm not sure the recipes that I'm going to go off tonight, whether you guys have my ebook. It's another little thing I could ask you um, is just to uh, pop a little comment in the comments box below if you can hear me. And if you have, yes or no, if you have the plant based mojo manual ebook. And if you don't, email me after class and I will send that to you for free. So you can use this recipe tonight that we're making. And as a bonus, I'm also going to be making a really simple banana and ice cream recipe, which is from my new Everyday Healthy course. Um, this is what it looks like here. But of course, hey, Roslyn, great to see you. <laughs> um, I was just talking about my banana ice and ice cream recipe, which I don't have in the Plant Based Mojo Manual ebook. It's part of my new online course, Everyday Healthy. It, um, it's so easy. I just wanted to share that with you guys tonight because it's going to be your new dairy ice cream replacement because it's so healthy. But um, grab a pen and paper because we will have to. You'll have to write the recipe down um, for this one when we go to make it. Uh, I've got about three minutes before we kick off. Hey, Faye, thanks for joining. Sorry, the timing wasn't so great tonight, but I couldn't get a time that worked for everybody. Um, and then for those of you just popping on and joining, please um, drop me a little comment in the comments box. You can see the chat box there. You can type a little message to me and let me know if you're a plant-based beginner, intermediate or a pro. So it's really going to help me give you information that is relevant to where you're at on your journey, if that makes sense. And I also just want to make sure that you guys can see there's a blender here. Can you see that? The Vitamix is just to the side here got my blender jug um and all my ingredients which i will take you through can you see my head when i'm doing this no <laughs> okay let me just let me just angle this up a bit more rosalyn half 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 a head half a recipe half plant-based <laughs> What, what, half, what, half my head. <laughs> Thank you. What about now? Isn't that is now better? Awesome. Okay. Fantastic. So we've got three minutes, I think, according to my clock before we kick off. So Kay, Catherine, Annie, Faye, thanks for joining. Can you please pop a little comment in the chat box? Um, if you can see that, just give me a wave. Let me know that you can hear me and where you're coming from. And if you are um, beginner plant, a beginner when it comes to being plant-based or an intermediate or a pro, that will help me share some information with you guys. The whole um, intention for this class tonight is just to give you some really simple, healthy, sweet treats that you can make next to no time. Hey, Mary, good to see you. And, uh, and it's really, for me, the intention for you guys is to use these recipes so they become a replacement for the not so healthy chocolate mousse made with lots of cream and dairy and the not so healthy ice cream made with lots of cream and dairy. Um, is anybody still kind of wanting to eat dairy because it's a little bit addictive? <laughs> that was me. Hey Zoe, welcome. Great to see you. Um, Rosalind, Australia Intermediate. Yes, Rosalind, I think you're, you're being very modest. <laughs> I think you're more than an intermediate. Um, 
Yeah, so for me, like, if there's two things that I would absolutely love to see everybody do, and that is to eliminate gluten and eliminate dairy from your diet. They're both very inflammatory and cause a lot of mucus and, and um, gut issues as well. Um, and then later on, I'm also going to just quickly talk about um, some of the issues that, you know, the dairy industry has as well and how they treat the animals and what, they, what the cows actually go through to get milk to you. Okay, so let's get started. Now, a little tip as well, is because we're doing two recipes tonight, I've looked at the recipes and gone, okay, so the second one's got lots of chocolate, um, messy blender jug, lots of cleaning, the chocolate's really sticky, so I'm gonna make the banana and ice cream first because, because it's a lighter color, um, I really don't need to wash the blender jug and I can just do the chocolate mousse straight away. So that saves a heap of time and a heap of washing up. Now, I just need to grab the bananas. They are, they've been in the freezer most of the day. Ideally, you want your four bananas. If you've got a pen and paper, write this down because this is the banana and ice cream from Everyday Healthy, the course, the new course that I have online, and you won't have this recipe yet. So write that down, four bananas. Ideally, you want to peel them, chop them, pop them in the freezer, give them at least 24 hours before you... Um, blend them to make the ice cream. Um, unfortunately, mine are about eight hours in the freezer. So they're not gonna be as amazing as I'd like them to be. But I'm gonna do, hopefully, a little trick. If you wanna serve this right away, another little trick, because the next ingredient is gonna be a little bit of coconut cream. We're gonna throw about half a cup of coconut cream in there. You could freeze your coconut cream as well. So when you go to mix this together, you could serve this ice cream straight away. If you don't have, um, you know, if you don't want to eat it straight away, then you can most definitely um, just, yeah, freeze it in a container and then have it the next day. So we've got the bananas in there. Now, another little trick, I'm going to use the juice of one orange. This just adds a really nice sweetness and acidity to the ice cream. So just juice that straight in the jug. And then um, always, always a pinch of salt as well. We're going to add a pinch of pink salt. Now, guys, if you have any questions at all, please just pop them in the chat box. I will answer them for you as we go. And I will also leave a little bit of time at the end of this for a bit of a Q&A as well. Pink salt, Himalayan pink salt, get rid of the table salt. We don't do white table salt anymore. Pink salt's got all the minerals and vitamins in there. That is really essential to feeding your cell with um, nutrients and removing toxins from your cell and giving you all those trace minerals that you really, um, a lot of us aren't getting due to denatured diets and soils and the way plants are growing these days. Okay, so now I've got the coconut cream. I have kept this in the fridge. If you guys buy um, coconut cream, really great idea just to keep the can of coconut cream in the fridge because it gets nice and thick. So we're gonna add in about a half a cup. Now, another little tip. With anything that's going in the freezer, it has to be super sweet before it goes in. Like almost too sweet, like sickly sweet. So sometimes what I like to do is I'll add a little bit of honey, like a couple of tablespoons of raw honey. You could add, um, yeah, coconut syrup, uh, maple syrup, all that stuff's really good. When I'm using sweeteners, I actually do like to work with, um, yeah, coconut syrup or raw honey um, because they do have a lower GI, so they're not super high GI like standard pasteurized honey or uh, maple syrup, which is quite high, even though it tastes amazing. It can be a little high in the GI, which is the glycemic index. Right, now that we've got all of that in, it's just a matter of blending it. Do you guys have a Vitamix? Hands up if you have a Vitamix. Awesome, because this is gonna do the job. Um, it, it's obviously all frozen. We wanna pulverize this uh, as much as we can. So 
this is quite smooth looking already. I'm going to have a little taste test. Oh my God, so yummy. So creamy. The banana flavor is coming through. Um, it's a little bit runny to serve this straight away, as you can see. I'll just show it to you when I pour it out. So what I would do with this, I mean, you could have it. Um, if you wanted a little cheat, like as I said to you, if you wanted to um, get this and eat it right away, I would be freezing my coconut cream and keeping like frozen coconut cream or even frozen coconut ice cream in the freezer and then adding that to the mix. So that straight away, you've got more of a solid mass to eat. Whereas as you can see when I pour this out, it's a little bit runny to serve. It's like, it's just like a thick cream. So what I'm gonna do is just pop that in the container and then pop that in the freezer and let that set overnight. And then you can have that as your new ice cream. The kids will love it. And experiment with different flavors. Like um, you could add frozen mango in there, frozen berries. Um, my favorite's dragon fruit. I actually have this cool ice cream recipe that is dragon fruit and banana and mango and orange juice and it tastes a bit like bubble gum <laughs> so it's a bubble gum flavor um and so yeah you could just experiment with different flavored fruits and just keep playing around with that and also if you like it to be more creamy and less sweet then obviously add more coconut cream i'm just gonna leave that there so i need to wash that because we're gonna do a chocolate mousse and for those of you that um, are curious about, see that's just a nice little like 500 grams, I'm, I'm assuming this container, probably 700 maybe, that, that's going to go straight in the freezer as it is. And then I'm going to serve that. What I like to have as well is the cacao mousse, or the chocolate mousse that we're going to make now is actually really nice to have on top of the ice cream. <laughs> so you can combine them both together. And, um, and also I have been known to serve this chocolate mousse um, on top of my cereal for breakfast. You can kind of, it's so healthy, you can have it with absolutely anything. Okay, so have you guys got Plant-Based Mojo Manual ebook? Can you raise your hands? Awesome, okay, so if we go to, if you don't, please just email me. I've got my email address up in the chat that you can, if you wanna get that ebook what this one looks like here um, for free. I can send that to you. But if you go to page 27, we're gonna like modify this a little bit. So grab your pen. And hey B, thanks for joining. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a different recipe from the one that's in there. So just right next to it, what we're gonna be adding in here. So I'm gonna be using half an avocado instead of um, a full avocado. By the way, how cool are these beeswax wraps? Is anyone doing them at home? Love them. Absolutely amazing for avocados especially. Um, these are great. These, these ones are made in New Zealand. They're quite nice. Got little kiwis on them. And then we're gonna just, yeah, maybe half an avocado for me is enough because I just find like if you do too much avocado, it actually does taste like avocado. So, you know, if you love that flavor, great, go for it. Do more avocado. But for me, um, as I've developed this recipe over time, I am going more, pushing more of the coconut flavor and more of the chocolate flavor. So instead of the almond milk and the coconut water, I'm gonna put in about, I'm guessing half a cup of coconut cream. And also there's a beautiful, um, brand of oils that I use, which are very pure. They're called medicine flowers. Now I normally teach this in chef course and we normally play with these flavors in chef course. If you can get hold of them, um, you could add in some raspberry medicine flowers or coconut medicine flowers into this as well. If you didn't have that um, and you wanted to play around with different flavors or different you know, um, fruits, you know, you could throw in some banana, you could throw in some raspberry, um, to create a different flavor, flavor profile for this chocolate mousse. Now I've got about half a cup of raw cacao powder going in now. Now I like it really chocolatey, so this is quite a lot of cacao. You don't have to do that. Um, 
but I do prefer a really intense experience when I'm having my chocolate chocolate mousse. Now I've got one cup of medjool dates, which is also slightly different to the recipe. And these are soaked, so they're nice and squishy. So they've been sitting in hot water for about 10 minutes and then I just drain them. And they're gonna go in the blender as well. And then we're gonna add in, of course, always, 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 pinch of salt, pinch of pink salt. That's gonna pull out all the beautiful flavor profiles of the chocolate and the strawberries, sorry, the strawberries, the dates. Um, and the sweetness uh, of the honey, which I'm going to put in that says coconut nectar. Again, up to you what sweetener you choose to use, but I do prefer working with raw honey or um, coconut nectar because it is more low GI. So I'm just going to do two because we've added more dates, right? So you just want to do um, a little bit of honey, a little bit of sweetness. And then we're gonna blend that up and then see how it looks. Now, the trick with this is I don't want it to be too runny. I want it to be quite thick and sticky. Um, so it holds its shape when we go to put it in the jar. Didn't put any stevia in. And yes, I've got strawberries for serving, of course. Like for me, like strawberries and chocolate or raspberries and chocolate, blueberries and chocolate. Um, they all go really well together. Oh, vanilla, vanilla extract. So about a teaspoon of that's got to go in. So if you can get nice a nice vanilla bean, um, you can throw that in as well. The beauty about using the Vitamix, if you get vanilla beans, you don't need to scrape the bean paste out. Just chop the whole thing up and throw the whole thing into the blender jug. It's gonna blitz that up really nicely. Okay, so now that we've got that in there, I'm just gonna blend this. Use the tamper because the dates are quite sticky and thick. to go so you can see how mm, I'm just going to show this to you it's, it's really nice and thick but I can also see on the tamper that it's still quite grainy there's a little bit of grittiness in there from the dates the flavor is amazing can you guys see that how sticky that is it's kind of like you could probably tip it upside down and pop it on your head and it's not going to come out that's the kind of stickiness that you want but I can see in here, it's still a bit lumpy, so I'm just gonna keep blending. You could add a little bit of extra cream or coconut cream if you think that it's too thick and the blender is struggling to even, um, even with the tamper, it's kind of struggling to blend it up. Um, add a little bit more coconut cream. <laughs> dates I used instead of half a cup in the recipe and I just find that one cup of dates just gives you that nice sticky thick consistency that we want from the chocolate mousse rather than um, having to use lots of fat or coconut oil obviously to help set it um, this is just another great way of doing it. <laughs> Alrighty, this is looking 
so good, guys. It's looking so awesome. I wish you could be here in my kitchen with me right now because this is so yummy and glossy looking. And that's the kind of result that we want. Like when you look into the blender jug, you can see there's a shine on the actual, um, uh, where are, where's my um, spatula? So you can see it's quite glossy and it has a sheen. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on the Zoom, but you, you, as, you, as you saw me working that tampo a lot, like you've got to be quite aggressive. You've got to kind of just own it. Like if you've had like a really shitty day and the hubby's pissed you off, take it out <laughs> on the tampa and the blender and just go hard and just keep going with it until you get that beautiful glossiness. Um, and then you've got um, the, the chocolate mousse that you, you know, you, you're happy to serve. Might just do a little bit more, maybe another 30 seconds. And then I think it might be ready to go into a nice little glass jar to serve with some fresh fruit. Okay, just a nice little finishing touch there of extra smooth, smooth um, mousse is just giving that little bit of extra time in the blender is perfect. Is anyone actually making this along with me tonight? Is anybody doing it? Zoe is awesome. How's it looking? <laughs> She's one step ahead of me. Rocking. Okay, so um, now that we have this beautiful masterpiece done, as I said to you, it's so healthy, guys. You could literally have this for breakfast, and I have been guilty of doing that. Or I serve this with the banana and ice cream on top. And, <laughs> and, um, and I just kind of love this because there's no real guilt in having this type of stuff. You know, when I first started to go raw vegan and started to go more plant-based, I was having food like this every day for snacks instead of my usual junk. And I was losing weight because when you're working with food that is like medicine, obviously your body knows what to do with this stuff. And it's, it's not like dairy and dairy is inflammatory. So when we eat inflammatory foods, it's basically, it's causing bloating, it's causing weight gain. If you guys are struggling to lose weight and you're still having dairy and gluten and eating a lot of processed foods or even cooked foods cause inflammation in the body, you are gonna struggle to get um, into weight loss and into detoxing um, while we still have these foods in our diet. Um, you had a question for me. Oh, Rosalind, yeah, you definitely need to make this every day. Trust me, when I make this uh, at home or I have it in the fridge, it generally doesn't last very long because it's so yummy. Um, I'm just garnishing now with some desiccated coconut. I've got some chopped up almonds. Like I love to think about, you know, what sort of textures do I want people to experience when they're eating? So extra crunch and creaminess. And then obviously you like the tartness of um, the strawberries. It's really beautiful to you know throw them in as well I like to garnish um, with a little bit of mint is beautiful too that's always a nice little touch as well as a little sprig of mint and there's fresh strawberries on top and then I think I don't know about you guys but I think this probably I think I would probably struggle to find anybody who didn't like this who didn't want to eat something like this and the key is for the beginners out there, for you guys that are new to this, um, you really want to be having a couple of sweet treats like this in the freezer as your staple go-tos so that when you get your cravings, you're not going to reach for the standard ice cream, which is just going to cause that inflammation and weight gain in your body or the nasty chocolate ice cream or chocolate mousse that you get from the store. You know, you've got these instead and every time you're eating, you're actually healing your body rather than harming it. And um, that to me is the miracle of plant-based foods is that it does become, every time you eat, becomes your medicine. And it becomes a way of, let me just eat this, sorry. 
<laughs> mm, so good. Zoe, did you try yours? Not yet. <laughs> it is nice to set this up in the fridge for a bit. Um, it's a little bit warm because we've had a lot of time in that blender. So yeah, if you have a couple of hours, pop it in a container, set it up in the fridge or do it overnight. And then um, it's beautiful to have, as I said, the next day, serve it as a dessert or you can have it as, um, have it as a breakfast as well. Um, now, has anybody got any questions while I'm still here? Any burning questions? One cup of dates, Mary, I hope you got that. I'm going to share a little info with you guys about Everyday Healthy, the new course that's coming up. There's going to be an email going out tomorrow. Now, this course, I don't know if you guys, you know, have, have experienced this, but I see this a lot in people who want to go plant-based is that they are really struggling to stay plant-based or they get overwhelmed with the recipes or knowing how to create a recipe successfully, how to flavor balance. Um, they have a lot of self-sabotage coming up. Um, they know they need to kind of heal their bodies, but they don't know how to detox properly or safely. Um, and so that's why I created the course because I could see that, you know, a lot of people might be getting one area, right? Like they know how to detox or they know how to do recipes, but they don't have the mindset, right? They're in self sabotage or overwhelm. And this course, we, we basically focus on all those three key areas together each week where we build, um, we start with just the basics, setting our intentions. We learn atomic habits, which are very easy little habits and changes that we can make that we can build on to create going, you know, making healthy changes and kicking health goals as success. While we're mastering recipes, a couple of hero recipes each week together and doing detox protocols together. It's an eight week online course. And we also do live cooking like this once a week, but it's a lot more interactive because we're doing it with a group and we can talk to each other and share sort of ideas and ask questions. Um, and really start to, you know, gives you guys the confidence so you can become really proficient and confident in the kitchen. And not only that, but like the whole journey is about learning how to reconnect to your body so that you can start to eat more intuitively and really taking ownership back of your, with your health so that you know, right, if you're starting to feel like something's not working in your diet, you know you have some tools and information from this course on how to pivot and how to change what you're doing or how to, you know, what sort of detox protocol you need to bring in to get you back on track. So we cover all of that in the eight week online course and tomorrow for one day only, <laughs> I'm going to offer it to you guys for 60% off. It's going to retail for $14.90. So tomorrow only at 60% off, it's going to be $5.97 up front or we can do five weekly payments of one forty nine, and the kickoff is going to be monday the 27th of april i think faye if she's still here faye's joining us she's she's rearing to go and um yay <laughs> i can't wait um to do this course with you guys because you're going to have me by your side for eight weeks and it's really about you know there's no fail with this course it's about embodying those three key areas so that you can be living your plant-based lifestyle like with your eyes closed you know and it's just removing all the overwhelm and it's removing all the kind of self-sabotaging patterns that are coming up it's, it's kind of giving you that confidence to make the recipes in the kitchen each week you do get a meal plan that you can as we progress you can start to maybe try adding in more of the plant-based foods each week um, but it really is up to you how much you want to challenge yourself each week. But the key is to just master two hero recipes for that week before we move on to the next week. So it really isn't, you know, for me, it's about creating a process where it's, it, you can't fail. Because I think once we sort of see that this is overwhelming and we're trying to do too much in our plant-based journey, we just stop and we don't progress and we don't move forward and we don't actually start to experience the amazing benefits that plant-based eating can give you, which is incredible energy, feeling connected to your body, feeling confident about your food choices, knowing you have a tip-top immune system and that if something does happen, you know what you can do 
to um, heal yourself. And that is so empowering. And that's what I wish for you guys to experience. And that is why I put this course together. Um, I will put in on the chat, if you guys wanted to grab that special deal now, I'll put it the form that you can um, purchase if you wanted to do that um, today. But there will be an email coming out tomorrow. But as I said, for one day only, I'm going to offer this um, deal, which is the 60% off. It's a huge, like, huge discount <laughs> when the course is just so transformative and you have me as your plant-based coach for eight weeks guiding you. We will be doing um, blockbuster calls each week together as well in the Facebook group. We have a private Facebook group and we can literally, um, we can do burning questions, but I also cover different health topics each week. Um, lots of topics, you know, we talk about um, mindset, fasting, detox protocols. Um, and yes, there will be a bit of an experience for us in week seven and eight together, where we then move into one week of fasting together as well. And one week of 100% raw vegan. But the whole process is just building you up to that so that you're actually physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually ready to, to do this upgrade by week seven and eight. So that we're really just building on, you know, cleaning out your body, getting your mindset right, learning recipes, building on that confidence and how to flavor balance and how to master breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, fermented foods, um, condiments, sweet treats, <laughs> um, banana and ice cream. You've already mastered that tonight. And um, yeah, so it's really, for me, like a very sort of unique course. It's very interactive. And um, we do this together as tribe. And we don't, you know, feel like, you know, I think for a lot of us that try and do plant-based, especially when we have kids and we have family and we have friends, they all think we're loopy. <laughs> they all kind of think we're a little bit cuckoo for wanting to try and do plant-based and, you know, not having that support at home or with your friends makes it so much harder. So that's why for me, it's so important um, to, sorry, I just need to change that link there um, to everyone um, that we, there's the, there's the link there if you wanted to read more about it and jump in and grab that special offer. But yeah, it's so important that we have tribe that understand our journey, that understand what we're going through, that understand all the things that are going to come up and what you need to learn to be mastering plant-based successfully. Um, so that's why I've created the group. And that's also why my vision is to have everyday healthy with a tribe of awesome people like yourselves, sharing information, sharing recipes, talking about, you know, um, things you might have learned, um, yeah, the shit day that you've had in the kitchen or, you know, there's some days where you just don't feel like making plant-based foods. Um, and that's also what I've provided in the meal plan is, you know, some really cool time saver tips for you guys so that you can still eat well, but, you know, not have to spend all day in the kitchen or all week in the kitchen making it. Awesome. Thanks, Liz, for joining me. Has anyone got any burning questions before we say goodnight? And then I can go eat my chocolate mousse. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining. So good to see you guys. Sending you lots of love from Chile, New Zealand. Stay warm. Stay safe. Stay sane. Yes. So are you having, are you having it? <laughs> hey, cheers. Yay. I love it. Beautiful. Bye, guys. Mm -mm. So good. Hooray. So good to see you guys. Bye.